RTX 20 series, Turing. NVIDIA launched the first GeForce RTX cards on the Turing architecture in late 2018. This was the first consumer GPU line with dedicated RT cores for real-time ray tracing and tensor cores on GeForce cards to run AI features. The RT cores are fixed function blocks that speed up ray triangle intersections for realistic lighting and shadows. The tensor cores accelerate AI math used by features like DLSS, together with traditional CUDA cores. Turing combined ray tracing, AI, and programmable shading in one GPU for real-time use. DLSS debuted here as DLSS 1.0. It upscaled images using a neural network trained per game, improving frame rates by rendering fewer pixels, then reconstructing detail. Early versions required specific training data per title and evolved over time, but the key point is that DLSS first appeared on the RTX 20 family. Notable models were the GeForce RTX 2060, 2070, 2080, and 2080 Ti, plus the Titan RTX at the very top. The series launched across late 2018 and early 2019 before the Super Refresh arrived mid-2019. These Turing cards were fabricated on a 12 nanometer TSMC process and formed the bridge between the prior GTX 10 series and the Ampere-based RTX 30 series that arrived in September 2020. RTX 20 Super Refresh. In July 2019, NVIDIA released three Super models, GeForce RTX 2060 Super, RTX 2070 Super, and RTX 2080 Super, as a mid-cycle refresh of the same Turing architecture. These were not new architectures, they were higher-spec versions of the original RTX 20 cards, launched with modest core, clock, and memory upgrades to boost performance. The RTX 2060 Super gained an 8GB frame buffer and and broader enablement on its Turing chip, delivering performance uplifts over the original RTX 2060 and even surpassing the previous Gen GeForce GTX 1080 in many cases. NVIDIA positioned the RTX 2070 Super as faster than the GTX 1080 Ti, reflecting its larger core count and clock increases relative to the original 2070. The RTX 2080 Super kept the same Turing foundation but shipped with faster GDDR6 memory 15.5 gigabits per second, improving bandwidth and pushing performance above the older Titan XP. Availability for the 2080 Super began later in July, following the 2060 Super and 2070 Super rollouts earlier in the month. RTX 30 Series Ampere. Ampere is NVIDIA's second-generation RTX design. It added faster second-generation RT cores for ray tracing and third-generation tensor cores for AI tasks, raising real-time ray-traced performance and efficiency over Turing. Consumer models rolled out from late 2020 through 2021. RTX 3070, 3080, 3090 at launch, followed by 3060 Ti and 3060, plus later Ti variants. The RTX 3080 was first to ship on September 17, 2020. DLSS also matured here. DLSS 2.0 arrived in 2020 with a new temporal upscaling approach that no longer needed per-game training. It uses motion vectors, depth, and prior frames to reconstruct detail while rendering fewer pixels, giving higher frame rates at similar image quality. This version became the practical baseline for most DLSS-supported games during the Ampere era. NVIDIA Reflex debuted in 2020 alongside the 30 series. Reflex lowers system latency by coordinating CPU and GPU. GPU work, so your mouse input appears on screen sooner, which is valuable for competitive shooters and any game where fast response matters. Connectivity moved forward as many RTX 30 series boards added HDMI 2.1 features, enabling 4K at up to 120Hz on compatible TVs and monitors thanks to the newer FRL signaling and related 2.1 capabilities. Implementation varies by model and partner. RTX 40 series Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace brought third generation RT cores for faster hardware ray tracing and fourth generation tensor cores that enable DLSS 3's AI frame generation via a new optical flow accelerator. This generation also introduced shader execution reordering, which reorganizes ray tracing workloads on the fly to improve shader efficiency and raise frame rates. Cards in this family span GeForce RTX 4060 up to RTX 4090.
They're built on a custom TSMC 4N process for higher clocks and better efficiency than the prior generation. ADA boards add AV1 hardware encoding through 8th Gen NVENC, improving streaming efficiency over H.264 while continuing HDMI 2.1 support. DisplayPort remains 1.4A on most models. DLSS3 on ADA uses motion vectors, depth, and prior frames to synthesize extra frames in between rendered ones, boosting FPS while keeping latency in check with reflex. Compared with brute force rendering, NVIDIA's materials describe up to multi-X gains depending on title and settings. The key takeaway for viewers is that DLSS3's frame generation is ADA only. ADA naming gotcha. NVIDIA first announced two RTX 4080 models, a 16GB version and a lower spec 12GB version. The two cards had different cores, clocks, and memory buses, which made the same 4080 name misleading. On October 14, 2022, NVIDIA officially unlaunched the RTX 4080 12GB to avoid that confusion. The 16GB RTX 4080 still shipped that fall, while the 12GB model reappeared later, renamed RTX 4070 Ti, and became available on January 5, 2023. This is why some early materials show a 4080 12 gigabytes, but the retail product is the 4070 Ti RTX 40 Super Refresh. In January 2024, NVIDIA released three ADA-based Super models, the GeForce RTX 4070 Super, RTX 4070 Ti Super, and RTX 4080 Super as mid-cycle upgrades to the existing RTX 40 series. These are not a new architecture. They are higher spec ADA Lovelace variants positioned in the same product tiers. Key changes were model specific. RTX 4070 Super increased core count versus 4070 RTX 4070 T Super expanded the memory subsystem to 16 gigabytes on a 256-bit bus. RTX 4080 Super raised overall throughput and memory speed. Official launch pricing and dates were $599 on January 17th for 4070 Super, $799 on January 24th, 4070 Thai Super, and $999 on January 31st for 4080 Super. NVIDIA framed the Super Trio as faster drop-in replacements for their predecessors within the ADA lineup, keeping all RTX RTX 40 platform features such as DLSS 3 frame generation, AV1 encode via 8th gen NVENC, and reflex latency optimizations, while improving performance per dollar at each tier. RTX 50 series, Blackwell. Blackwell is NVIDIA's next generation GeForce architecture. It adds 4th generation RT cores for ray tracing and 5th generation tensor cores for AI features, and it introduces DLSS 4 with multi frame generation. DLSS LSS4 can synthesize up to three additional frames for each traditionally rendered frame, multiplying frame rates while Reflex manages latency. Desktop RTX 5090 and RTX 5080 became available on January 30th, 2025 followed by the RTX 5070 Ti and 5070 in February and the RTX 5060 family later in the year. These are all GeForce Blackwell parts with DLSS4. The RTX 5090 is listed with 32 gigabytes GDDR7 on a wide bus and 5th gen Tensor and 4th gen RT cores. The RTX 5080 is listed with 16 gigabytes GDDR7 and the same core generations. Both advertise DLSS 4 with multi-frame generation, Reflex 2, and 9th gen NVNC, including AV1. Memory note, important for buyers, GDDR7 is not used across the entire stack. NVIDIA's own page shows the RTX 5050 configured with 8GB GDDR6, not GDDR7, even though it is a Blackwell GPU and supports DLSS 4. Use official specs per model when quoting memory. Platform capabilities called out by NVIDIA include FP4 support in Blackwell tensor cores for faster and more memory efficient AI workloads plus architectural hooks to support the pacing needs of DLSS multi-frame generation. I made an awesome video about every NVIDIA GTX series, so don't forget to watch it later, okay?